What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to another Razer keyboard lighting design video. This design idea I got all on my own. I didn't come up with this idea through a comment or anything like that. What you have is a green light effect that goes around in a circle just like a radar does. And you can set this design up to where it highlights any key you want in red or whatever color you want. If you download this design in the Dropbox, what you're going to have is red keys in the WASD, Escape, Razer logo, and on your Razer mouse. If you want to customize this design and make whatever key you want to turn red, then please follow the video. I'll show you just how to do that. I put up a teaser of this lighting design on my Instagram, at UnrealHero underscore. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, that way you guys can get a heads up on which lighting design is going to come out next. Also make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell icon, that way you guys get a notification as soon as I upload a new design video. Alright guys, let's get to designing. This is Radar. Alright, I just want to start out this video by giving you guys a quick tip. If you click anywhere in the gray area here and hit control zero, it's gonna automatically zoom in to the right size for whatever devices you have. So hit these three drop down buttons and we're gonna rename this to radar. Uh, come over here to your effect layers, hit those three dots, and we're gonna start off with a wheel effect. Hold control and zoom out a little bit. You'll notice there's a little a wheel. See this little spinning green wheel? You're gonna wanna grab that wheel and bring it to the center of your keyboard. Mine is located right over the top of the colon, semicolon button, but you guys can put yours anywhere you want in here. Just remember where you put it because you're going to make two wheel layers on this. So now that we have the center of our wheel in the middle of our keyboard, we're going to go ahead and select all of our keys and we're going to click on the color drop down and we're going to make this a two tone pattern. On the right over here, we're going to want green and on the left over here, you're going to want black. Click off. You're going to want to change your speed to 120. Everything else can stay the same and you can hit save. So that's just going to be your base layer. We're going to go ahead and add a new effect layer on the bottom left over here. Click static to create a new static layer. Make sure you click on this new effect layer so it's selected and you're going to start choosing whatever keys you want to light up red whenever the radar goes around. So I'm going to hold control and I'm going to choose my escape key, W, A, S, D. I'm going to choose my Razer logo and I'm also going to choose my Razer logo on my mouse. And I'm going to come over here to my color and I'm going to choose red and I'm going to hit save. As you guys can see, we have one more step to do so that our red is slowly fading out. And this is what makes this whole effect tricky. What we're going to do is we're going to come over here on the left, click on your wheel layer, right click duplicate layer it created a new effect layer up here in the top we're going to right click on that one and we're going to rename that one to wheel two so now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our available lighting keys and this is where the magic happens okay we're going to go to our color drop down and if you notice the right side of your color gradient here leads your wheel effect so this is the leading one this is going to be your brightest point. So what you want is you want your red static effect layer to be the brightest at the right side. We're going to choose the right node over here and we're going to make it invisible. And you can make it invisible by clicking on this square right here. And now we want it to fade to black. So we want it to slowly fade out. So we're just going to keep the black on the left side. Speed stays at 120. Everything stays the same and hit save. And that's all there is to this lighting effect, guys. If you want to change the keys of your red lighting, make sure you click on this static layer and hold control, select all the selected red keys, and just hit delete. Hit save. And then you can click whatever keys you want. You can click the caps lock, five, up arrow, and just change those red and hit save. And that's all you have to do to change whatever key you want lit up. I 
thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please make sure you hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe as well as hitting that bell icon. That way you guys get a notification as soon as I upload my next video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.